Facebook post is getting a lot of attention. The homeowner who made the post says she doesn't even shop here anymore. Now she asked us not to show her face, but said she's speaking out because she wants change. I would say it's beyond unsanitary. Former customer Candace Hill posted these photos on social media taken Wednesday of a Ralph's supermarket near Manchester and Western in the Gramercy Park neighborhood of South LA. It's filth, it's grind, it's dirt caked around the actual containers where the produce is at. It's so much stuff down there that you can't tell whether it's rodent droppings or mold. And to me, I'd say probably it's both. The post has been shared thousands of times. Many people outrage. I contacted the health department and I sent those same pictures to them and I told them I couldn't decipher what it was. A spokesperson with Ralph's Grocery Company acknowledged the photos. Would you call those conditions sanitary and satisfactory for your customers? Uh, certainly, I, I, uh, looking at the photos, that's not something that we're proud of and something that, that immediately when it was brought to our concern, we wanted to make sure and remedy. We're told they plan to remodel early this year, and this location passed its health inspection just today. Neighbors believe the store has been neglected because of its demographic. You'd have a lot of people who are lower income in the area. Omar Brewster says he drives miles away to shop in a different part of town. And that's only in our neighborhood, only in the black neighborhoods, minority neighborhoods. That is absolutely false. We are looking forward to remodeling this store and making a very significant investment into the neighborhood. There is a community meeting coming up January 23rd. We'll put the details on our website, ktla.com. Now, we did speak with a couple of shoppers out here who told us that the conditions inside are fine with them. One man told us if they were bad, he wouldn't be shopping here. We're live in Gramercy Park, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Kimberly.